the most important question of your life. If I ask you what do you want out of life? And you say something like, I want to be happy and have a great family and a job I like, it's so ubiquitous that it doesn't even mean anything. A more interesting question, a question that perhaps you've never considered before, is what pain do you want in your life? What are you willing to struggle for? Everybody wants to have an amazing job and financial independence, but not everyone wants to suffer through 60-hour work weeks, long commutes, obnoxious paperwork, to navigate arbitrary corporate hierarchies, and the blasé confines of an infinite cubicle hell. Everybody wants to have great sex and an awesome relationship, but not everyone is willing to go through the tough conversations, the awkward silences, the hurt feelings, and the emotional psychodrama to get there. The positive is the side effect of handling the negative. Therefore, what we get out of life is not determined by the good feelings we desire but by what bad feelings we're willing and able to sustain to get us to those good feelings. The quality of your life is not determined by the quality of your positive experiences but the quality of your negative experiences. Who you are is defined by the values you are willing to struggle for. People who enjoy the struggles of a gym are the ones who get in good shape. People who enjoy long work weeks and the politics of the corporate ladder are the ones who move up in. People who enjoy the stresses and uncertainty of the starving artist lifestyle are ultimately the ones who live it and make it. This article is an excerpt from my book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, a counterintuitive guide to living a good life.